Hello, today we're going to be demonstrating the Innovate IQ bed. Um, this is a cute bed which is suitable for general ward area use and also high dependency settings. The bed is a four section profiling bed and it can achieve a maximum platform height of 75 centimetres and a minimum platform height of 34 centimetres. The bed has a safe working load of 255 kilograms and it has a safe patient weight of up to 190 kilograms. This is to take into account any accessories that may be applied to the bed platform. The bed can accommodate patients of a length of up to 185 centimetres. However, it does have an extension facility and that can then accommodate patient of up to 205 centimetres. There is no age limit applied to the bed use. However, if a patient weighs less than 40 kilograms, has a BMI of less than 17, or is less than 146 centimetres in length, then a risk assessment must be carried out to ensure that the bed is safe and suitable for that individual patient to use. It's very important to refer to the full user manual instructions that come with the bed to identify any contraindications for use. For example, unstable spinal injuries. It's also the responsibility of the prescriber to carry out the necessary risk assessments required. And this is lim not limited to, but will include falls, entrapment, and the use of side rails. It's also important to refer to your local policy and equipment selection guidance. On initial use of the bed, it's very important to ensure there are no obstructions or hazards around the bed space. You simply plug the mains lead into a power supply, ensuring that it does not cause a trip hazard. The bed is intended for use with the main supply. Um, however, it does have a battery backup system um, that can be used in those times when a main supply is not available. The bed platform is designed to be compatible with a wide range of mattresses, both foam and dynamic. It has mattress retainers at the four corners for correct positioning of uh, static mattresses. And it also has strapping points on the mattress platform for the use of dynamic mattresses. It's very important to ensure when you do use a mattress with straps that you only connect it to the moving parts of the bed frame. So now as part of the bed demonstration, we're going to go through the handset controls. The Innovate IQ bed has two handsets. It has a nurse handset, which has full control functionality and a patient handset, which has limited functionality. Unless you have purchased the Innovate IQ bed, with the split side rails with integrated controls in them. In that case, you would have the patient controls in, in the side rail rather than the handset provided. The functionality, however, is the same. So on the patient handset, the person in bed is able to raise and lower the head of bed with the buttons at the top, is able to raise and lower the platform height to down to 42 centimetres only and they also have the ability to put the auto contour function on, which raises the head of bed and knee break together for their own comfort. In addition, on the patient handset, you also have an underbed light, which is really useful for darkened environments and to see any obstacles that may, may be around the bed space. The nurse control handset uh, controls all the functions of the IQ Innovate bed, and it is designed to be kept on the footboard when not in use. The handset clearly identifies what power source is powering the bed. An amber light will be lit here if you are connected to the main supply, indicating it's being powered. Or if it's being powered by battery, then the battery light will illuminate amber. In addition to that, if you are using battery power for some time, when you utilise the handset, an audible alarm will sound, informing you that that battery power is becoming low. The nurse control handset uh, controls all the functions of the IQ Innovate bed and it is designed to be kept on the footboard when not in use. The handset clearly identifies what power source is powering the bed. 
An amber light will be lit here if you are connected to the main supply, indicating it's been powered. Or if it's been powered by battery, then the battery light will illuminate amber. In addition to that, if you are using battery power for some time, when you utilise the handset, an audible alarm will sound informing you that that battery power is becoming low. So now we're going to go through the profiling functions of the bed itself. I'll show you the control unit and then demonstrate those shortly. It's very simple to use. You have all the profiling functions clearly identified on the nurse handset. So starting from this side, you have the platform raise or lower function. We have the head of bed, backrest, raise or lower function. The knee break, raise or lower function and then auto contour function, which is where the backrest and the knee break simultaneously raise or lower together. And then finally, on the end, you have the foot down tilt or head down tilt function button. To utilize a function, you simply press the button, the green light will identify that that's the function in use, and then the up arrow to raise, and the down arrow to lower and you can utilise the buttons on either side of the handset. When the bed platform is lowered below 42 centimetres down to the minimum of 34 centimetres, an indicator on the handset will tell you that you're in that lower position for safety reasons. Finally, because the patient handset or the side rail function has patient control, there is an ability within the nurse handset to lock out any functions that are not safe for that individual in the bed to utilise. To lock out a function, you simply press the lock button and the function button together. So to, to lock out the head and foot down tilt, I would simply press these two together and the lock button will identify now that that's locked out on the patient handset. So now we're going to demonstrate the profiling functions of the bed utilising the nurse control handset here. First of all, the platform height. Simply press the platform height function button and then the up direction arrow to raise the platform. The platform will raise to a maximum of 75 centimetres to assist with maintaining a neutral posture. To lower the platform, function button again, but this time the down arrow and the platform will lower. As you reach the 42 centimetres height, you will hear a beep. This is now informing you that any lower the platform is going below 42 centimetres, it's in its lower height down to the minimum of 34 centimetres. The Innovate IQ bed has an auto regressing backrest. What that means is when you choose the head of bed profile function, like so, and press the up direction button, the back rest, rest will begin to raise. As it raises, it also reverses backwards away from the next profiling section of the bed. This creates a space in the sacral area and that contributes to minimising shear and friction for the patient. Back rest angles should be individually assessed as what's appropriate for that particular patient. And as we mentioned earlier, the top side rail, if you're using split side rails, has an indicator so you, you know which angle the head of the bed is raised to. Lower head of bed angles do assist with pressure redistribution, whereas higher head of bed angles assist with respiratory needs and any other clinical requirements the patient may have. When raising or lowering the auto contour function, it operates in a series of stages and this is to assist with a more comfortable positional change for the patient. I'll just demonstrate the auto contour going down and you can see the headrest and the knee break operating together nice and smoothly to take the patient back down to a more flattened position. I'm now going to demonstrate the final function on the bed here, which is the Trendelenburg which is a head down tilt function and the reverse Trendelenburg, which is a foot down tilt function. So by pressing the function button, simply press up 
to achieve a foot down tilt of 13 degrees and then pressing the down button you could achieve a head down tilt of 13 degrees. If any heel elevation is required, the IQ bed does have a manual calf lift function. To utilise the calf lift, you simply choose the knee brake and raise that to its maximum height of 35 degrees first. Once that's been done, you have three height options on the manual calf lift. This is best done by two people, but you gently pull from the side to position one, you'll hear a click, position two, and position three, dependent on the height elevation required. To remove the manual calf lift, you simply pull it to its highest position here, and it will smoothly lower back down. Finally, Take the knee break, down, and the bed base is now flattened. The IQ bed also manually extends by an additional 20 centimetres, and this is to accommodate taller patients of up to 205 centimetres. To extend the bed, you simply pull the lever that's found here and pull the bed out smoothly. To increase the bed platform, you then slide the platform down and you have an extended bed. To take the bed back down to its standard size, again repeat by pulling the lever and smoothly push the bed in back to its standard length. The bed also has um, a handy linen tray which is to be found here. You can simply pull it out. It takes a maximum weight of 20 kilograms so when it's no, no longer required you simply pop it back in. The IQ bed braking system is very straightforward to use. You have two brake pedals, one either side of the foot end of the bed. These are linked by the brake bar. This allows all four casters to be operated simultaneously. There are three positions. Top position and it's colour coded as well on the top of the bed base. So flick up, green, that's steer. The two top end casters are now locked into a tracking position, allowing the bed to be steered safely from the foot end of the bed. To put the bed into free caster, you click the middle, which is a clear colour, and now all the casters will move independently. Finally, to lock the bed down, to apply the full brakes, it's a red colour coded, press down, and now the brakes are fully applied. The IQ bed is available with two types of side rails. Cantilever side rails, which are the bars, um, or the split side rail version, which is with this model of the bed today. There is also a split side rail that does have a patient control function set within it. To engage the side rails, simply use the aperture available, pull up until you hear a click and the side rail is engaged. The top side rail is attached to the backrest and that will profile as the head of bed is raised and lowered. With the lower side rail, again the same, use the aperture, pull up and you will hear a click and it's in position. To disengage the side rails, simply use the grab lever, pull it up and allow the side rail to smoothly disengage under its own weight. And the same with the head. The IQ bed comes with two emergency CPR functions. The first one is a manual lever to be found here on the bed and it's the same on the other side, clearly identified CPR. To manually use the lever, pull the lever and it flattens the head of bed ready for any emergency procedures. The second CPR function is on the nurse handset, it's an electrical CPR function. By simply pressing the button, this flattens all the profiling sections of the bed and lowers it to a suitable position. The bed also has four mount points situated at the head and foot end on either side and this is to accommodate accessories such as IV poles, oxygen cylinders and subtraction. Beneath the bed platform you will find cable accessory clips and drainage hooks. For infection control purposes 
The bed platform is ridged and has perforations to reduce build up of fluid and allow access for cleaning. The moulded platform pieces are also removable so you can access all areas for cleaning. However, for full cleaning instructions, please refer to the full user manual. And finally, when moving and transporting the bed, ensure all obstacles are removed from the bed space area, unplug from the wall and store the plug and lead in the cable tightly provided. Ensure the platform is of a suitable height and always make sure that when you move or transport the bed, you use the footboard or the headboard to move and never use the side rails.